So I've heard it said that um, you get to a certain point where you have to kill the Buddha on the road. If you meet the Buddha along the road, kill him. What does that actually mean? <laughs> yeah. I find all sorts of nice commentaries on that one. I think the most general use of it, yeah, would be um, the thing of someone's feeling very interested in some teaching, very involved. And they can almost feel the ego's getting that fear. I could kind of get lost in here. Or what, you know, I could get lost into this teaching. I could, like hell, I could submit my will, you know, go into a monastery or something. Mm. And it's a way of avoiding it. It's like, oh, well, this teacher's being the Buddha for me. So I must not let them be the Buddha. I mustn't worship the teacher. I mustn't, you know, get too devotional. I should back off. You know? That's I mean, that's the way you've heard it suggested. I think what I've heard is that... Um yeah, when a student gets to a certain point in their journey, they, they sort of have to dismantle the pedestal that they put their teacher on and sort of become their own guru. There is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is told that way. Maybe for those that that's applicable to and so on, maybe there's some value in it there. And I think there'll probably be better things for them. To look at but where it's meant where it originates you know what the use of that is in spiritual teaching that story what it's about it's about devotion it's about the path of devotion and when devotion uh, and completion of the path of devotion attainment on the path of devotion do you maybe have a story to illustrate yeah yeah well the uh, i've got a couple so you're here for a little while. Yay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so the one is, just let's go to the original telling of it. If you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. It's an instruction. It's absolutely literal, it, and it's meant. It's meant, it's given seriously, it's meant to be taken seriously. And the Buddhist's approach would be, that if you're on the path of devotion, so the devotion to the your conception of the Buddha, your devotion to the Buddha, is what's that's what you're relying on, that's what your path's about, that's where your energy goes, that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Then if you do that with a depth and a sincerity rarely seen in the world these days, but if you do that your devotional practice will for you sometime if it goes well it'll evoke the buddha for you he'll be there you'll have a rap with him and if you get familiar with that you know if you meet that call it a vision call it a projection call it an apparition call it your you know call it the buddha is what you'd be calling it right but when you meet that when that is real for you when your being and your ego is so invested in that that you actually meet it, then kill it. And in sort of Buddhist, like getting a bit sort of scientific about it, language, it would be you only meet the Buddha, you only meet the object of devotion when your devotion is so total that when you kill it you kill all of ego you you probably have nothing left to kill after that you've done the biggest killing that needs to be doing or for some it's the final step and that's their liberation mm. I heard the story from my master says he said I have heard uh, mentioning no names it would be Ramakrishna was in deep devotion to the goddess deep 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 anyone you know people would come from far and wide to 
see him officiate because just the beauty and the quality of the devotion was so apparent. And so he wasn't just sort of meeting the Buddha, he wasn't just meeting the goddess, he was hanging out with her, you know. <laughs> he was having a great time and he was loving his devotion. And then one day, the fellow's name's recorded, I don't recall it. A philosopher came and visited him and said to him, you know, you really find the goddess easily, huh? And Ramakrishna, oh yeah, I just close my eyes, take a breath. Oh my, oh, there she is. Oh my God, is she, you know, mm. she's really here. He says, right, so there is a last step, you know, for you on your journey to your transcendence. And Ramakrishna, really? Yeah. And I can help you with this. What you need to do is you go into your meditation. You wait for the goddess and when she's there, you kill her. You take a sword, you cut off her head. Ramakrishna, whoa, whoa, okay, well, big problem one, you know, she may not want to kill the goddess, what a horrible idea, but like where would I get a sword, I mean, look around, you know, well, you get the sword the same place you get the goddess, already he's challenging, he is challenging this goddess, challenging this structure, but okay, Ramakrishna kind of gets it, okay, if I can find the goddess, I can find a sword. All right, but, but the will, when she's there, oh, and now I'm gonna come out of that and think of killing her. You have gotta be kidding. Like, it's not gonna happen. I mean, I even get the sense of what you're saying maybe. You know, Ramakrishna was a wise man, he wasn't an idiot. But, this doesn't seem realistic. How could he do it? And the fellow said to him, look, I'll help you. And found on the ground uh, just a piece of glass. Nice sharp piece of glass. And he said to Ramakrishna, right here, right now, you drop in your meditation, you find the goddess. And I will see when she's there with you. And I will cut a little cut. Just a little cut on your forehead. Just to bring your awareness. And then you get the sword, you kill her. Ramakrishna says, well, hell, let's give it a shot, you know? And he sits. And when the goddess is there for him, a little cut on the head, and a little while more, and Ramakrishna came out of that meditation and said, the last veil has fallen. That's it. There's nothing between me and existence anymore. Mm. It's because the investment, the the investment of ego, quite literally. And an othering. In that, yes, it's not you, and then letting it be not you, and also let it be not, which is your ego, what your ego is not. Mm. Just that solidity, that impact of truth. For many, it's a large satori a huge opening of realization. Mm. And for some, it's like Ramakrishna, it was his final step. So yeah, if you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. But every word is important. If you, your ego mind, your mm. being, meet, encounter, not, you know, not across the street, that's not meeting, Mm -hmm. meet, connect with, have present in the same space as you, the Buddha. So if you meet, if that happens, yes, then kill him. And yes, it's going to be the hardest thing you've ever done. And you're not going to want to. But that becomes the necessity. I mean, what, if you meet the Buddha on the road, yeah. Kill him.